Mister. Now, okay. Welcome back to Galaxy 2. Uh, last time we did the entirety of the first World's Green Stars. Um, label's still here. It's silent. <laughs> You'll get better at intros <laughs> eventually. Yeah. Now it's time for World 2. Whenever I see this level, isn't this the level with like the sliding block puzzle things? I mean, yes. Technically puzzles, but I just think of I that would put one video. Massive air quotes on where these puzzle. To... Yeah, it's not really a puzzle. I was just calling it that because I didn't know what else to call it. I remember there was like this speed run video. Where, or I guess it was about speed running, where they were trying to figure out why sometimes you could hit the switch in time. The block two times instead of one time. Oh, I think they did eventually figure it out, but I don't remember how you did that. That probably made no sense whatsoever. Yeah, because I haven't seen that video. I like quick green stars like that. Thankfully, because we saw the other two in the cutscene, I can just, you know, skip the cutscene every single time. By just choosing star one. So how are you feeling? I'm doing good. That's good. After yesterday, especially. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you could skip that. It's a lot easier with slow easy to, to higher height gain. Sometimes it feels like this game was not designed with Luigi's physics in mind. I would definitely you can actually make that jump with Mario with a Mario triple jump. <laughs> Luigi just easier. Yeah, and also like, green stars tend to be easier with Luigi. Sorry. No worries. What were you saying? Hmm? What were you saying before I actually cut you off? Uh, saying, like, you can actually make that uh, jump up to that launch star with a Mario triple jump. Yeah. It's just easier with Luigi. Same with the green stars. And you're expected to have Luigi the time um, special world and uh, green stars because you unlock him in the post game. Some of them, like. The flip switch ones seem like they were, would be almost impossible with Mario. Because you like, Ill Luigi's triple jump, bar you barely made it. You can actually do it with uh, Mario. I believe I've gotten all of them as Mario in my first playthrough. We need this obviously easier. 
Lucky. I don't remember if Mario and Luigi's um, Triple Jump are actually the same height. Luigi's a bit floatier. I think Mario also goes up higher with spin jumping. I guess it's the balance it out. Yeah, fun fact. You can actually... The nunchuck actually gains a different amount of height with spin jumping. Yeah, it's. I don't understand why they even made that feature. I don't know either, but apparently it's actually kind of useful in the speedrunning context. I guess it's because some jumps are like need a precise height or something. Yeah. like a Mandela effect thing, but you know, you know how in Super Mario 3D World there's like those intro sequences on the title screen? Yeah. I swear, the first time on the Wii U version, the first time that you unlock like this first special world. I swear it plays a fifth one that has it's at nighttime with Octoon Buzz. And I've never been able to find any video evidence of that, but I swear that I saw that once. And it never happened again after that point. I've never seen any any documentation of it. So I'm just starting to doubt myself that it was even a real thing. Wow, uh... Yeah, I don't think I've... Because I haven't played the Wii U version of 3D World in... years. Yeah. Mostly it's because the disc broke. broke. <laughs> oh, yours broke too. <laughs> yep. Oh, fun fact, I actually have two discs of 3D World. They both don't work. Oh, the disc. Yeah, discs are stupid. Yeah. Well, I have plenty of discs that still work. Quite a few that are scratched up and don't, but I do have plenty that still work. I'm so glad Nintendo went back to using cartridges because discs just are pain. They definitely can be. Now how they managed to fit that t that much space inside of a cartridge that small, I don't know, but... <laughs> you can make very uh, powerful SSDs that are, like, smaller than a micro, U micro SD card. Impressive just how small they can get nowadays. Yeah. It definitely is. Yeah, this is definitely already taking longer than World One did. Yeah. 
a lot more of the stars are much closer to the beginning of the level in this. Some of them takes longer to get to than others. These reconnect ninja. This is gonna be the theme of my controller does not like being weird. My nunchuck does not like being a nunchuck. Is the theme of most of the games I played with that uses the nunchuck so far. Nunchuck does not like being the nunchuck. A nunchuck. And it will just randomly disconnect itself. Hey, look, it's the jelly donuts. Yeah. Again, they've al they always look like jelly donuts to me as a kid. When I think of jelly donuts, I think of the stupid rice ball thing, and I can never <laughs> unthink of that. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Ah, poor kids. You you have some weird dubbing decisions. Just look at all the changes in Yu-Gi-Oh. Hold on, I hear- Sorry, I was just thinking about it for a sec. Yeah. I- I was just like, yeah, Jelly Donuts, but also like, um... So there's a- a, a local, like, not really fast food chain, but kind of uh, here in Canada called uh, Tim Hortons, and they have uh, yeah, something the called Tim Bits, Bits that's the place that which has, are like, essentially that's the mini place donuts. Has, like, the Tim Bits. Sorry. Yeah. I thought you were done dog. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. You know Tim Hortons. They have something called Tim Bits, which are essentially like a bunch of mini donuts you can get into like a uh, box of like 50 or 10. Yeah. I always wanted to try those. At least since I knew about, learned about that place, I wanted to try those. Yeah. Tim Hortons has some pretty uh, good uh, breakfast options. If you're, if you're ever in uh, Canada. So tidbits and Sorry, if I ever... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was just say Timbits and their uh, coffee are the big uh, ones uh, Tim Hortons is known for here. Yeah. Only one of which I can really one. comment on. Yeah, that's probably the only reason why I know about those. If I just suddenly stop talking for a second, it's because I'm just trying to think of what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, I do that a lot, too. Oh, hey, that, that sidewall climb is actually necessary for the green star. Nice. Now time to spend multiple attempts trying to go run up the side of the wall. of insanity returns. Never mind. Or I can do it for a try. You try.
I just realized a lot of um World 2 is one one regular star and the rest being secret stars in most of its levels, side pranks for comets. Yeah, it is, huh. And then there's like barely any secret stars late into the game. I wouldn't be surprised if this was one of the worlds they finished last and they were starting to really run out, out of ideas. And I kind of got it because this is also the only other level the dash mushroom would not dash mushroom dash pepper appears in is um like um the beach level that I don't remember the name. So Starshine Beach, the only other level that the dash pepper ever appears in. Is that the one with the Pianchas in it? Yep. Oh, oh, well, well, actually, the one they probably finished last was probably the special world, actually, because that one is definitely low on ideas at times. Most of the um, special world, aside from like one level, is basically a rehash of another level in a different Mario game. I uh, think Mario. Yeah. Yeah, you have most, two levels from Galaxy 1, a sunshine level. Uh, Yeah, no, I'm not saving myself there. Yeah, you have a sunshine level. Um, a boss rush. There's a there's a Mario 64 level too. Is that That's in World Six? Like, okay, I wasn't sure. I can't remember. Yeah, that's in World uh, Six. And then you have a roller ball level, which is a, a ball roller level. Really, the best levels in the entire game because they focus entirely on motion controls. AKA the best mechanic that appears. Oh, just no, I can't even finish that joke. Outside of like aiming, the motion controls is so pointless. Yeah. I mean... Or if you're playing a fitness game. But. Okay. That is that is a fair point that a uh, fitness game does work a lot better with motion controls than sitting on your couch. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Uh... Also, like, like the, like, ball rolling stuff. Marvel ish esque games are pretty decent like with motion controls. Look at the marbles. Those things are if those things are made of glass, the second they get shot out of a launch star or whatever. Or not launch star, but those, uh, those bouncy things, they would just shatter into pieces instantly. Or well, maybe they're made out of, you know, special indestructible star glass. Then how does the glass break when you go into one specific pocket? Space magic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Dying Lane is actually one of like the best. Uh, as I like mouse and keyboard, it's like one of the best ways of aiming. It's a gyro. Yeah, for sure. Because the stick is really bad at aiming. What? The, the control stick is very bad at aiming in first person in any shooter type oh, game. Oh, yeah. For sure. It is so terrible. How did I not get it? <laughs> Not like to the 2D access. Yeah. Okay. I I drifted away from it. Der that death. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they do this? Cause it's actually a lot easier than I'm making it out to be. Yeah, cause you were jumping off too late, I think. Yup. That's not, uh, hovering early enough. <laughs> Dark is hovering physics are actually kind of jank. Sometimes you get ton of momentum while hovering, and other times it just kills it completely. Also, Hytale Falls is the one with the Super Mario World athletic theme, right? Yeah. Okay, that's why I thought. I'm gonna I'm wondering. I'm gonna do this, get this out of the way. I do not I do not like the motion controls. Stars and also just kind of stuck for levels like this because oh you missed it now you have to exit the level and re-enter or you don't even know that you missed it or you just ram into a wall. <laughs> what? Don't want to know how to glide. I already know. One of the worst levels to getting star beds, except for it's not the worst because the worst would be any of the star ball levels. I don't know why I'm trying to go through the gates. That's for the comet metal, not the green stars. Oh, did I? Did the Discord do do a fucky? Hello. Hello, Fee. Welcome uh, to <laughs> Welcome to Green Stars. Green Star. I don't know this. If I want to correct you, there's a Green Star very low to the ground, but that could be the other one. This game sounds very crunky, just through Discord. Yeah, through Discord. It <laughs> Does. You're gonna wanna mute the audio. No, I don't care. I wanna hear the crunkiness. It's so. <laughs> it's so bad, it's good. Okay, it's already 87 degrees in this room. Please help. I missed the star. I don't know where my blanket went. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, you were. Food is going to. Well, it's nice that he sh showed up, <laughs> even if it was just briefly. That's a one-up. That's not a green star. Oh, the green... Wait, what was that thing at, next to the water? Like, at the very bottom. I don't... Like, below the one-up thing? I couldn't tell if that was, like, a star or, like, just the green particle effects. I couldn't tell either. Also, I don't think the book is actually very helpful in this. My uh, the guidebook very helpful for this level. Yeah, due to this level, one level alone, this might actually be split up into two parts. Today, the words thing happened to me. Okay, it was this God level that was. Damn boxes! Why? Okay, that was that was stupid. You clearly touched me with the wing. Yeah, but I have to touch it with Luigi. Well, at least if I miss that one, I can always go, try to go and grab the second one. was this level that I was thinking of. I remember one of the green stars in the second one of this being very, very oh. stupid because you have to go a very specific round at the part where there's... I don't even know if this is real, but... I don't know, I'm just misremembering, but... It's the part with, like, the huge 360 area, and there's just a green star hidden somewhere in that area, I'm pretty sure. Yeah! That there is. That won't be for a while. That's World 5. And that will be the first thing I do when I get to World 5 because I really do not like the motion control. Oh no! <laughs> it's unironically faster just to go back to map and try again. Why do they even have it like that? Because it's the first star. Like, it's literally it's star like... one of this... The, of the, uh, thing, and it will always have the tutorial for... as an option for star one. Like they... Yeah, but I feel like they could have, like, hard-coded it to not have that happen if you're on green star. Like, have the green stars be a separate third mission. Yeah. But they didn't for some reason. Fortunately, unfortunately, with this star, I can't get into a life loop, which is why I'm going to do it immediately first try. I like how you segue your sentence into that other sentence. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to improv. <laughs> like that. Alright, time to segment the video. Until next time. <laughs>